Hello friends, welcome to Quick Learn Tutorial Series. In this video, I will explain you some basic concept of PN Junction Diode. It is part 1. So in part 1 video, I will explain you the basic concept of PN Junction Diode. First I explain introduction, next formation of PN Junction, then zero bias PN Junction, then what is diffusion process and diffusion current, then I explain depletion reason, the width of depletion reason and last is the barrier potential or barrier voltage. All these topic I explain here in part 1. So I started from introduction. In my previous video I have already explained extrinsic semiconductor and the type of extrinsic semiconductor material. That is P type semiconductor material or N type semiconductor material, their characteristic and behavior. The P type semiconductor material are formed by doping a pure sermanium or silica. This, these are the intrinsic semiconductor, pure semiconductor crystal with the trivalent impurity atom. When we dope trivalent impurity atom, the trivalent impurity atom having three valence electron in their outermost orbit. That is why it is called trivalent impurity atom. Example of trivalent impurity atom are boron, gallium, indium. So, in P-type semiconductor, here we see large number of or majority of hole are present and minority of free electrons are present. Same as it is in N-type semiconductor material. N-type semiconductor material is formed by adding a small amount of pentavalent impurity to the pure intrinsic semiconductor material that is silicon or germanium. When we add pentavalent impurity, the pentavalent impurity having 5 valence electron in their outermost cell, so large number of free electron will be generated. So in N-type semiconductor material, there are large number of majority carrier free electron and minority carrier holes are present. But it is not possible to manufacture any device by using only P-type semiconductor or by using only N-type semiconductor. For manufacture any device, we use them together. So the basic electronic device that is mostly used in electronic is PN junction diode which is made up of P type or N type semiconductor. The PN junction diode is the basic building block on which the operation of all the semiconductor devices depend. The behavior of PN junction is developed based on semiconductor properties. PN junction diode is a device with two elements namely anode and cathode. Since PN junction itself is a two element device, it becomes the most basic electronic device that is PN junction diode. So this is the introduction of the video. Now the formation of PN junction. How we form PN junction? To form PN junction, we take a P-type semiconductor having majority carrier holes and minority carrier electron and one n-type semiconductor having majority carrier electron and minority carrier hole. To form a p-n junction, we join together p-type or n-type semiconductor with the help of a spatial fabrication technique. When we join these two material, a junction is formed that is called p-n junction. Now zero bias p-n junction. What is zero bias p-n junction and diffusion? Zero bias means when we not apply at any external field, any external force in the PN junction is called unbiased or zero bias PN junction. So what happened when PN junction will form? When we take a P-type or N-type semiconductor and join them, a junction is formed that is called PN junction. When we not applied any external voltage, the junction is called unbiased or zero biased PN junction. But we see here at the junction, one side has high concentration of hole that is P-type semiconductor and one side high concentration of electron that is N-type semiconductor. So, due to this concentration gradient across the junction, the process of diffusion of charge carrier will be take place. What is diffusion? When high majority carrier electron move into the 
P type semiconductor and high concentration of hole in P type semiconductor move toward the N type semiconductor. These process of movement of charge carrier is called diffusion. The free electron from N side will diffuse into the P side and recombine with hole present there. Each electron diffusing into the P side will leave behind a positive in mobile on the N side. When an electron combined with hole on P side, an atom which accepts this electron lose its electrically neutral status and become a negative in mobile ion. Seen second number diagram, due to this recombination process, a large number of positive ions accumulate near the junction on the N side and large number of negative in mobile ion will be accumulate on the P side near the junction. This is called in mobile ion, negative in mobile ion in P side or positive in mobile ion N side. The negative charge ion on P side will start rippling the electron which attempt to diffuse into the P side and after some time the diffusion will stop. At this point the junction is set to be attained in equilibrium condition. So, in zero bias or unbiased condition, diffusion will be take place and in mobile ion get generated near the junction. Now, what is diffusion and diffusion current? In the PN junction diode, if it is doped non-uniformly, then there exists a movement of charge carrier from high concentration to low concentration region. This result in the recombination of charge carrier and the process is known as diffusion. The current generated due to this process is referred to as diffusion current. Diffusion obey fixed law. The slope of charge carrier concentration decide the direction of diffusion current. Now what is depletion reason? This reason near the junction on both sides where immobile ions are collected. On P side negative immobile ions are collected and N side positive immobile ions connected. This is called depletion reason because this reason having no free charge carrier such as electron or hole. In other words, this reason is deplete of the free charge carrier. Therefore, this reason is called depletion reason. This reason is also known as space charge reason. In the state of equilibrium, the depletion reason get widened to such an extent that electron cannot cross the junction anymore. In case of unbiased, the depletion reason get formed very quickly after the formation of PN junction. Now the width of the depletion reason. Practically, the width of the depletion reason is very small in order of 0.5 to 1 micron. 1 micron is equals to 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter. Thus, the depletion reason is very thin as compared to the width of the P or N type reason. But if we apply any external voltage, the depletion reason get increase or decrease according to how much voltage we apply. Now, barrier voltage. What is barrier voltage or barrier potential? Due to the presence of immobile ion near the junction, positive immobile ion or negative immobile ion on opposite side of the junction, an electric field is created across the junction. This electric field is known as barrier potential or junction potential or also known as cut-in voltage. It is fixed polarity. The polarity of the barrier potential are decided by the type of immobile ion present on the two sides of the junction. Thus, the negative terminal of barrier potential is on the P side. Here we see in the diagram the negative terminal present in the P side and positive is on the N side. This is called the barrier potential because it acts as a barrier to oppose the flow of electron and hole across the junction. The barrier potential represents the height of the barrier that is overcome for, for flow of electron and hole. Barrier potential is measured in voltage. The barrier potential of silicon is about 0.6 volt whereas the value of barrier potential for germanium is 0.2 or 0.3 volt at 25 degrees Celsius. So in my next video I will explain you PN junction diode.